We are back with one of the funniest and nicest guys around. Uh, we came to love Craig Robinson as Daryl, Dunder Mifflin's warehouse manager on The Office for nine seasons. Okay. Then as Doug Judy <laughs> on Brooklyn Nine-Nine alongside Andy Samberg. And now in the new Peacock series, Killing It, Craig plays a divorced father trying to keep his dreams alive after losing his job. Let's take a look. I lost my job because of you. No, you lost your job because you weren't where you were supposed to be. Because you told me to go in the manager's office and shut the door. That's on you. You shouldn't be taking advice from me. I'm a no low life. Don't take me in dang. He thinks I should get golden contact lenses, but I'm ignoring him because that man is trash. He make you look like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Robertson joins us live now. Craig, good morning. Good morning. good morning. All right, so the show's called Killing It. Yes. First, actually, I want to say thank you. Because of The Office, there is now always something to watch on television. <laughs> you can watch The Office endlessly, and you're amazing at that. But are you killing it right now? I mean, you got a lot going on. There's a lot going on. This uh, My show comes out on Thursday, April 14th. So, yes, yeah, an exciting time. We'll talk about it. It's a comedy, but it also oh. speaks to the American dream. I mean, because the reality is we all have people that we know who are probably similar. who are also trying to make it, if you will. Talk a little bit about Yeah, he's character. got a lot of setbacks, my character, in this, uh, and uh, he's trying to figure his way to that American dream. And it turns out he'll do anything to get to it, including joining a python hunt. <laughs> so you become, a snake, you become a snake hunter. Uh, a, uh, have you handled snakes before? Before, yes. I was in Australia a few years back with my band, The Nasty Delicious. Hello. Wait, <laughs> is it for real? Yeah, yeah. And I was in a, we got to, you know, went to this animal sanctuary, and I was going to take a picture like I was too scared to get close to the snake, <gasps> but then I touched the snake, and no. it felt amazing. And I put a snake around my neck in it, and I was like, wow, this snake means you no harm. I've been lied to by the Bible and Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's like that particular snake. I feel um, like some... Well, well, I don't think you go to the swamp and... No, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're friendly. But, uh, yeah, the, the, in Australia, it was cool. <laughs> and you, were, you filmed in, in New Orleans. Uh, uh, did you run into any wildlife there? You know what? We were filming, and uh, after we got, shoot, got done shooting one, one scene, uh, they were like, hey, we found this... We caught this alligator. So, yeah, there was... Uh, there was some wildlife going on. <laughs> How close did you get to the alligator? I didn't get close. Okay. I don't know. You didn't put it around your neck? <laughs> it it might have been right behind me while I was filming. They didn't let me. Yeah, know. no, you don't want to know that. Uh, speaking of animals, you've got a new film, The Bad Guys. I'm, I'm being heard, I'm being told it's described as like an Ocean's Eleven for kids. It's, yeah, it's a, a, a Tarantino for kids. <laughs> Oh, even better. Without the language. Yeah. Without the language. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's April 22nd. I play uh, Mr. Shark. It's, a, it's fun. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It was great working with uh, uh, oh, no, uh, Pierre, no the French director, and uh, Damon, uh, the producer. We were going back and forth right, with jokes, yeah, right. and it was all during the pandemic, you know. Uh, so they were all on Zoom, and I was I in a booth. Oh, we watched it uh, last night. Sorry, sorry, we watched it last night in our house, and the kids were loving it. I mean, they were glued. Uh, you play a shark. <laughs> right? So, I mean, did you have to, like, do any kind of method acting? Did you channel your inner, inner shark for that? What'd you do? I, uh, I, I got in the uh, shark cage and, and went under oh. just, to, uh, just to see how they move. I'm lying. Did you, I was going to say, I, 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 I can't even tell. <laughs> yeah, one of the great moments I shared, got to share with you was in Scranton, Pennsylvania. During it was a, it was like a you, we NBC put together a group of guy of you guys from the office yes. and not expecting a big turnout and there were over fifty thousand people what? who showed up for yeah, we, the we, office convention. Office convention <laughs> we had one there and then when the office wrapped we went back and they had a whole parade and the whole really? city was our, it was ours it was we were like the Beatles. What do you make of it? It's just people love it so much. Tom it's, already started it, talking yeah, about it. It's, it's, a great it's show. amazing, and people are like, you know, this is my ninth cycle through, or, or it means so much to so many different people. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, you know, <laughs> a family member was sick, and it's the only thing that made them feel mm -hmm. good. Oh. It's the only, only time their family came together, or something like that. Uh, it's like you have friends everywhere you go. Do you ever think we'll see a reunion? Ooh. I, I, you know, as soon as Greg Daniels says it, sure. But uh, other than that. I mean, everybody's speculating. I, yeah. I don't know. And so many stars. I mean, you, you guys just exploded with your careers. So many people on that show now are it's huge. A true blessing to be yeah. on that yeah. show. My nieces and nephews are now watching it, so it's fun to see like the next generation get into it. But Brooklyn Nine Nine also has that like rewatchability right. factor. Are you going to miss it. that show? I, I do miss it. I, I love being on there. And uh, you know, the guys from Brooklyn Nine Nine, uh, Dan Gore and Luke Del Tredici, mm. the writers, uh, they they're the ones who wrote Killing It. 
Mm -hmm. who I, I, oh, oh really? so it's a reunion. So it is a reunion. I do miss Andy Samberg. Yeah. I was like, yeah. we were like two five-year-olds getting together in his class. <laughs> Maybe he'll guest star. I was just about to Maybe say. Maybe he will. <laughs> Greg, you're a delight. Yeah, you're Aren't awesome. You, you're just, talking. You just have so many layers. I got to do a USO tour with this guy. Really? At Bagram Air Base. That was one of the best experiences that was I've ever had. I love it. And you sing? I didn't know, know you guys had so much history together. Yeah. yeah Nasty and delicious. Back. Is that really true? Oh, yes. A nasty delicious. Nasty May delicious. May 4th at the Troubadour. Be oh, there. Really? In LA? Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. So like I said, so many layers. A renaissance right. man. Yes. <laughs> Craig, a commercial <laughs> break. I want to hear some stories, you and Al, all right? Let's do what Penn State here. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. Killing It premieres on Peacock this Thursday, and The Bad Guys hits theaters on April 22nd from DreamWorks and Universal Pictures, all part, of course, of our parent company, NBC Universal. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.